Hey Dream, it's Mike with Real Life Photography. Thanks for sending over the catalog. Um, I'm gonna hopefully edit. I will. I will. I will edit these the way that I normally would ed edit them. Um, but but with any edit, it it's kind of just to taste. So I'm gonna just treat these as if they're my own images and uh, show you how I would edit them. So uh, we got the first image here. Uh, there are seven overall. So we're gonna start here with the first one. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just just line it up. And what I'm looking at here is this line right down here. And from there, I'm just gonna white balance. And then I'm just gonna pick something that's pretty close to white. And that already looks better. I mean, when I talked to you before, I know you have this green tile over here, so we're going to have to be working with uh, a little bit of green tint coming off of this green tile. And then next after that, I think I'm going to go with RLP01. I'm going to boost the exposure a little bit, and that's already starting to look better. And one thing that I noticed on this these photos is the, the child's feet look a little bit a little bit too red so we're going to try to work that a little bit but it, this might be one of those scenarios where we can't get this get this perfect so <clears throat> in that case it depends on how much it bothers you or not uh, I might personally I might black and white this image uh, if it was mine but I'm going to try to show you the colors as well as I can and then once I did that I'm just going to kind of tweak the white balance a little bit and just see what goes best and ultimately I think uh, maybe a little bit cooler, in my opinion. S uh, something like that. And then I'm going to raise magenta just a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe I'll leave it where it was at 16. And then we'll just deal with it. We'll deal with it from there. So the next things that I'm going to do, I'm gonna raise this up a little bit more. Drop that down. Raise the whites a little bit. And you still have this uh, this green uh, cast everywhere here. So what I'm going to end up doing now is using a graduated filter somewhere right somewhere right in there, maybe a little bit more, something like that. I'll reset that. I'm going to take this to the magenta tones a little bit. Lift the shadows a bit, add a little bit of white, and <coughs> maybe not so much shadows there. Then I'm going to go down here to a range mask. First I'm going to do color, and just kind of click around. Let's see. And now it's just making those adjustments to anything with that tone. So I'm going to move that around a little bit and just kind of see what goes best. This isn't foolproof, but it might help a little bit. Just kind of drop saturation down a little bit in, in those areas. Like that. And we still have this green tint up here. So let's look and see what that looks like. And then now we're going to take a brush. I'm going to go with the same thing here. I'm just, I realize that that's making it greener. I just haven't reset this yet. Take that. A little bit. Like that really right there. Uh, maybe that's better. Maybe I should do it like that. Highlights a little bit more. Maybe a little less warmth. Maybe something right there. And then overall, I'm happy with the color there. Now we're just going to work on these feet. I'm going to leave it there on tint. Well, 
reset this to 10. And now I'm just going to go over the feet a little bit. Once again, I'm going to go down here to the range mask, turn on the color, click this little button, sample it. And then now it's only treating things that are that color. And I'm going to tweak it from there. I'm going to add a little exposure to them, drop saturation. Down, not too much because I don't want to gray it out. That, maybe cool them off a little bit more. Let's see what that looks like. That doesn't look too bad. I mean, if it really annoys you, you can take it into Photoshop and probably do a lot more stuff into Photoshop than Lightroom. I just generally try to stay in Lightroom as much as possible. <clears throat> And then on to the next thing that I think I would do here is over here on luminance, I would take this magentas and pop it up just a little bit overall. And then I would pop these purples up a little bit as well. Maybe throw some purple satur nope. I was getting this cast down here, see? So I won't do that. Set that back to where it was and maybe actually drop it down a little bit. Right. And overall, I think I would leave that exactly the way it is. I don't know. I'm fairly happy with this. This one foot right here is a little bit too gray for me. Let's see. Let's see what we can do there. Let's see if we can add a little bit of saturation back. Let's see if it helps. Maybe a little bit more exposure. Maybe that's a little better. Something like that. I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> Alright, let's move on to the next image. And I might breeze fast through some of these. Um, let's see what that looks like here. That'll work. So on this one I'm going to use RLP09 that I'm going to take and just click around a little bit and that might actually ROP09 might not be the best selection for this one just because of how much red is in here and ROP09 exacerbates that so let's look at 13 13 might be a little bit better we'll raise the exposure a little bit drop the tint down a little bit maybe a little more uh, Warmth. I don't know. Let's see. Drop exposure a little bit. Drop the reds a little bit. Maybe a little bit less orange. Mm. Get rid of this grain. And then, like I said before, we're kind of dealing with this reflection coming off of uh, off the tile. So we're just going to mess with that a little bit. Let's set that back. And then, boom. I think that ultimately looks not that bad. I might drop exposure a little bit more here. Maybe vibrant. I don't know. Let's see what that looks like. Somewhere maybe right in there. I don't know, maybe something like that. All right, so I think that's, I think that's somewhere right close to where I would stay. Um, in that whole situation, I might drop the sharpening down a little bit, just because there's plenty of grain in here, and I just don't want to overdo that. All right, let's see what this one looks like. See now you can see kind of see the green tile there. Do that first. 
actually I might do it over here we'll see what that looks like and I like this already one more time let me straighten this up a little bit you got quite a bit of orange in the ears here and we're gonna try to isolate that a little bit <clears throat> see what we can do use this brush here shrink it down right there we might have to do this twice on this other ear it might be a different color turn the rain mask on just that down a little bit more let's do another and another dropper let's see what that's doing I don't know that kind of new that kind of neutralized the whole orange there pretty well might drop vibrance down overall a little bit and let's see here mm. I don't know pretty happy with that right there that was ROP09 All right, so some of these are all, all lit the same, and just for the sake of speed, I'm going to do this one as my last one here. Right click there, just because you can see a little bit of gray there. I already like how that looks. This one here, I'm going to just going to use radial filter. Even that up there. Go down here, range mask color. Use this here, here, here. Oops, I didn't hold shift down there. And let's take a look if we got a little bit of greens back in. Let's. saturation down a little bit mm. I don't know if I'm liking that tent right here it's got luminance sorry work be better off with a might be better off using a brush and we'll go right up here right over here maybe a little bit right there here here here, take that back to zero. That be cool it just a little bit. Let's see. 
think that looks a little better. We'll see. Then we're going to do another one. Put around these eyes. Some overall exposure, drop the highlights a little bit. Might drop my up my luminance in blue and drop my blue saturation down a little bit. I just don't want our eyes to look overcooked. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. So, uh, I mean, lighting is going to be a challenge. Uh, lighting is always a challenge. Don't, don't get me wrong, especially in a bathroom. Um, <clears throat> I think in this in this pr particular instance, uh, it would be it would be pretty helpful if you can uh, get your use a flash and then get your flash off off camera. Um, I shoot a lot of bathroom photos with off camera flash, and it, uh, now, granted, I don't have any green tile, but Ultimately, if you can get that flash to sit, um, you know, dynamically or not dynamically, statically to get onto the subject, it's going to separate the the green overcast from your tiles. So, uh, hopefully, this was helpful. If it wasn't, I'm really sorry. Uh, definitely some challenging photos, but ultimately, I think uh, we we definitely got some keepers. And I know, I mean, the easy cop-out way to do this whole situation would have been to, you know, just click over here. And you already bought my preset collection, so RLP09, or I'm sorry, 11. Raise some exposure a little bit. Drop highlights a little bit. Take this, you know, use an exposure brush. You know, kind of paint over them a little, paint over a little bit. Something like that. Maybe up and lift shadows just a little bit, a little bit more contrast, maybe not that much contrast. A little bit of highlights, a little bit more exposure. Done, and then do a little bit more exposure, and then like maybe that's a little too much. Somewhere right there, or maybe somewhere right in there. And then straighten it up and. Bada boom, bada bing, and I like that. I mean, for I like black and white photos a lot, but um, definitely, you know, grainy, uh, grainy black and whites are kind of my favorite. So, I mean, but I wanted to show you how I would do some of the color, the color corrections and stuff like that within with your photos. So, sorry I brambled on for long enough, but uh, if you have any questions, please reach out and ask me. Thanks.